In this video, I show you a few tests on taking fully fired pieces, stacking them up in combinations, refiring them, and melting them into one piece. Hope you enjoy. So I wanted to make a quick video showing a test that I'm doing on assembling these multi-level pots. And you might ask yourself, well, you know, why, why are you doing this? And it's because this, this happens to me regularly. I don't know, half the time, a third of the time, a lot. And it makes me wonder, well, do I need to up my game on how I assemble these? I try different techniques on trying to move quickly and keep these things all at the right, uh, you know, dryness, equalness. But it made me wonder, hey, what about making them separate and then just glazing them and sticking them together? So I have a lot of these in inventory. I've sold hundreds of them and I like to keep a, a good bunch in inventory, but I must say the the multi-level pieces move more quickly. And so I want to go ahead and try some combinations of taking these fully fired pieces, stacking them up, and making a new multi-level piece. So let me show you the four combinations I'm gonna try. This is the first where I have a really small gap. Uh, it could look quite nice, they're pretty. I like this glaze combo. Next, I'm gonna take this pot and a long-legged pot. And in all cases, I'm going to try to line up the top leg with the bottom best I can when I put them in the kiln, try to make them level. But this will allow a bigger plant, but a nice two-tier. So, combo number two. Combo number three is a leaner where I take one of the legs and I just hang it like that. So this might be nice where, you know, this piece is a little more forward presented. A little bit funky with the legs sticking out, but depending how you place it, you may not see it. So this one I think is going to be a winner, but number three. And number four. Now I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get it up on the wheel, but I want to take two similar pots and one smaller contrasting pot and find a place where they all touch. I'm going to try to fire them all tonight, and we'll see just how well they go together. Well, here it is next morning, and good news, nothing moved. First glance, it looks like things really got glazed well together, but let me pull them out, and we'll take a closer look. So, here they are. I'm really happy with how much melting happened between the two pots. You know, I had made a certain assumptions that this glaze has already run. It's already thinned to the same firing schedule. There wouldn't be this amount of extra. But they're really stuck nicely together. So I'm imagining on something like this, um, planting this and putting some microgreens. I think it looks really pretty. I like this variegated blue already. Top is a little bit different, but seems to be stuck well together. Our tall one. Yeah. And then here's our three piece. More of that variegated blue. Yeah, I really like that. Looks good. So, there you go. 
I think my assumption that I had to stick these things together and bisque them together was wrong. That maybe I should make them separately all the way up to glaze and then only after I glaze them. Which by the way is nice. A piece like this would be so hard to do if it was already in one solid piece to be able to do these layerings here but not have it on this, have this be a separate color. So certainly it makes the glazing process easier. Let me know if you've done this.